cool play? Your mom? Cool Don't play? say <laughs> Hamilton. I was gonna say the Tempest. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's, uh, Wait, no, it's such a cool play. play. You ready? Oh, dude. Three, oh, Tempest is really good. You're right. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. Be honest, chat. It's good. <gasps> Hell yeah, let's go. <laughs> He's done it. All right. It. Oh, I recorded. Crisis averted. I recorded two videos with the audio being probably out of oh, sync. Oh no! So one percent of my work week ruined. All right. That's a joke. <laughs> a little humble brag there, boy. <laughs> I'm going to have a heart attack in my 30s. Uh, okay, Jackbox, let's go. Uh, Quip Lash is on the Jackbox Party Pack 2. Let's go. Yeah, well, but can you hold the fuck on for a second? Can you chill out? <laughs> wow. I'm a on edge here. I did have to go downstairs uh, with all that coffee talk and grab myself a delicious Madrinas. Ooh. Dude, I so I make cold brew all the time, but yesterday yeah. I was all fucked up because of the jet lag, right? There's a 17-hour yeah. time difference. So it's like, I don't know if that's good or as bad as it gets, but I didn't make any cold brew. So I was making a French press coffee, and I never use a recipe, and I fucked it up real bad. My Ooh, okay. general recipe is I put a little bit of hot water in the French press, and then I just pour ground coffee on it by eyeballing it and hope that it works out. Yeah, uh, I put way too much. It was like <laughs> I, I made caffeinated mud. <laughs> <laughs> Who I, are actually, opening for uh, <laughs> yeah, Vincent D'Onofrio's yeah, okay, yeah, co-stars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a good I, name. <laughs> yeah. I'll be right back. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I actually, I actually fucked up my meal yesterday too. Uh, partly not my own fault because uh, I used the nonstick pan to make mm. some burgers. Sure, yeah. Turns out that nonstick pan no longer nonstick. Oh, the uh, burger stuck to it. Yeah, burger stuck to it super hard. So I, I still ate it, but it was basically instead of a burger, sloppy there Joe. Was, Form and shape, yeah, it was basically like a bunch of ground beef in a bun. You know what should really fuck with you is like that Teflon had to go somewhere. <laughs> right, yeah. Oh, yeah. You, I you ate probably it. ate a bunch of Teflon. I consumed it all, yeah. I don't know what happened there. But if your food's coated in Teflon, you should have like one really satisfying shit. <laughs> I mean, it, it can't be that bad for you, right? Because, I mean, they put it in a thing that people are supposed to cook on, right? Yeah. Can't be that bad for you. And yeah, like, asbestos. I mean, if it's so bad for you, we wouldn't have put it in all of our walls and our ceiling, right? <laughs> Is that going to be our thing? Like, when we're 80, people, like, the, the kids are going to be like, I can't believe they had Teflon on their thing. <laughs> oh, look at us. It's the year 2000. Let's eat off of a poison plate. <laughs> There's no Teflon plates, but... Okay, here's your seed. Not yet. Okay. Here's your seed. Yeah, I was <laughs> assuming that meant that the seed was there. There you go, there you go. There you All go. Right, yeah. I have another breach open in the background for this, so this the whole time it's just going to be like... It's a good dun, 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 echo in the night. Dun, dun. Yeah, there you got it. <laughs> yeah. There we go, five people. Let's begin. Eat enough Teflon and it become Wolverine? Now that sounds badass. I gotta eat more Teflon. Do you think it's Ben Prunty or Ben Prunty? That's a good question. <laughs> uh, good I question. actually think it's Ben. It's oh, Ben. You all oh, got it. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's, oh, that's yeah, something. That's spelled S-C-H. <laughs> Oh, I feel a lot better already. So I don't want to act like I have the hardest life on planet Earth. But yeah. Oh, please do. Uh, so, you know, nine-hour flight back from South Korea. Four terrible movies. I don't know any of you motherfuckers seen Brad's status. I want to talk about it, but I don't want to talk about it until anybody else has seen it. Ben Stiller. It's a Ben Stiller movie. He plays the world's worst human being on Earth. And nobody at any point goes, hey, Brad. Fuck off. They're all just like, ah, I feel bad for Brad. He's a piece of garbage. Oh, anyway, it's because Brad is good looking. No, well, I mean, I guess for a 47 year old. Um, but on the flight, I had to 
do an assignment, like a programming assignment, with no internet. I got it done, but I didn't like it. And then, I got class! In like 40, well, 45 minutes I have to get ready to leave. Why, just stop. That bit didn't work. <laughs> I'm in the midst of quip life. It's, yeah, it's, it's all right. It's very hard while to we're, while we're writing answers, yeah. Which is why this is the perfect game for this show. <laughs> <laughs> How many times will Ben Stiller make the same movie where he's sad about getting old? I know, dude! It's like oh, he's, definitely. he's a 45-year-old Zach Braff. Brad's status is the worst, because it was like, he's rich, but his friends are richer, so he spends the whole movie being like, I don't have a private jet. Oh, I don't have, I don't have my own hedge fund. <laughs> Why don't poor people just sell their stocks to buy groceries? <laughs> Hey, Chad, if you're not familiar with this game, you can go to jack.tv and enter MRQH to vote on our answers. Absolutely that was still true. The, the funniest thing of, like, the Mitt Romney okay, everyone, campaign. But it was like, yeah, yeah, we were really scraping by. We had to sell off some of our stocks just to get... <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, man. Just... We had to make the corporation pay a dividend. The worst part about being seven feet tall. Getting dunked on by seven foot two dudes in the NBA or telling people how the weather is up there. <laughs> yeah, it is like one of the worst parts. You're only like six four though. Close enough. I mean, it's tall. That's. You're I like guess you're still at the point where like you have to bend your knees in most. It's tall enough situations. to get asked how the weather is up there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you fast? You could you could play wide receiver for the Jets. Okay, next. I mean, you probably could, yeah. yeah. For the Jets, yeah, the New York Jets. A little known <laughs> lyric in the original draft of the Star Spangled Banner. Do you have the time to listen to me whine? I don't know, it, it sounded so wrong to say it like that. Or that our flag was sort of still there. Dookie should be our Star Spangled Banner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a bit self-deprecating, but yeah. Oh. I mean, 6'4 has got to be staying. like one standard deviation taller than average, right? Oh, no, that's what I was going to say, is like, when you group us all together, you can see Austin is clearly much taller than the rest of us. Yeah. True, yeah. What did, how does this still like a tall overall group, right? I think we, I think we do, uh, yeah, don't we? Like, uh, like Nick average. is like 6'2", right? No, I'm just 6. Oh, you're just 6? Okay, so I'm 6'1", and then Rob is like 5'10". I'm also 5'10". Well, that's that mystery yeah. solved, finally, yep. Jesus. No, it's, it's come out. <laughs> <laughs> the top three ingredients in garbage truck juice. Excrement, cockroach guts, and vag... Fag discharge? <laughs> vag... <laughs> <laughs> or garbage trucks and juice. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good stuff right there. I'm not the sensitive question about is how tall is mouth. Mouth? Um, I mean, I'm not, gonna, like I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna I think he's 5'6", yeah. Oh, I was joking. Is that true? <laughs> I think he's <laughs> wow! <laughs> I mean, he I is mean, actually he... almost the inverse of Austin's height, which is kind of. You know, he's yeah. not almost the in. He's not almost four All right. six. Hey. That's <laughs> like Peter Dinklage. <laughs> <laughs> It's yeah, like if Austin extended down into the ground, he'd be the disproportionate <laughs> opposite direction. <laughs> what to say to get out of jury duty? OJ did it, or there's good people on both sides, both sides. <laughs> nice, yeah. Oh, man. He is a bitch for being shorter than me, Corey. I agree. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So they had absolutely right? no control over whatsoever. <laughs> yeah. I gotta script get, like, that in. Surgery. Get that sorted into my T count uh, attribute so that way it accounts for your height, and then it puts like a negative 20% modifier. Mm hmm. I wish we could do stat boosts. That's gonna be one of those we like can. karma things. We we literally can, but we just choose not to because it takes time. Yeah. Don't, don't say that. I don't want to. Really, I really wish I could upgrade my strength. Well, if you considered going to the gym for like a few hours a week and eating right, well, let's not go crazy. That's. I just mean like instantly. 
Yeah, but the new the new patch for real life is just so grindy. Why don't they just come out with loot boxes or something, you know? I'm not even like, like, what I'm saying out loud is, boy, I wish that there was a way for me to not have to do this hard thing so I can get what I want without the, uh, you know, work. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. I was up at 5 a.m. and I saw this commercial and it was saying there's stuff you can take. I think it's like a pill and it makes your wiener bigger. Oh, oh yeah, that sounds good. Do tell. Yeah, it's apparently they, they say stuff about men's health a lot for some reason. So apparently like healthy men have long penises. Ah, see, I've got a tiny little one, so I'm hoping that I can take it. Well, <laughs> well, first step, you got to get insomnia. So you're up at 5 a.m. and then you can oh. find out about these new pills that you can take. Dude, when I was at uh, when I was in Korea, we were looking for snacks to buy to eat on the airplane. Did you and get tiny penis snacks? Well, they were selling condoms <laughs> in the convenience store, as you might expect. But the condoms were a brand I've never seen, but they were in English, and it said it comes with a climax climax controlling gel in the tip. Oh yeah, that and totally works. I was like, climax I've never seen this before. It numbs your, your dong out. It's a so climax controlling. It. All the ones over here are like, we made them super thin so that they're, the sensitivity's increased. Over there, they're like, oh, we just shoot you up with Novocaine so you can go as long as you want. <laughs> Dude. Actually, can we talk about condoms for a second? No, oh, because please. I I want to. So the, the the sizes for condoms are weird, right? Because I I feel like it's either done to make you look better to other people seeing your condoms, yeah, or it it's made to make you feel better about the size of your dick. Because like you have to get like an extra large magnum dong to fit on just a normal size penis. You Sorry, know what I mean, wait, what did you say? <laughs> you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta get like a magnum. You gotta get like a magnum condom. Sorry, I said gone, didn't I? I yeah, like to like sleeve magnums. the magnum size dong right over my little thing down there. Sorry, I, I was trying to. We got four seconds, by the way. Yeah, I was trying to come up with a funny answer. And as a result, I was not listening okay, to what you're saying. Basically, Starting even when I asked you to repeat it, the sizes are overinflated. I agree with I that. Buy, I gotta buy like a okay, Magnum double XL for my dick, and I, I'm not. I don't, going I, don't, up, I don't have a giant penis. Well, that's the thing. You, well, you don't though, because you can like, you can put a condom on like, you can put it over a whole human being's head. <laughs> <laughs> A unique way to amputate your toe. Sensually or jump in line at the rabbit foot factory. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I don't think I, those are legal anymore. I don't, I don't... I like that it's a line. Like, they're all waiting in line to get a foot <laughs> cut off. But. Can we talk about how Sensual Lizard resubscribed when the word sensually was on screen? Oh, that's, that's true, yeah. That's interesting. See if you can time that, guys. See, you just, like, line up your name with something we're about to say. Something you shouldn't say in front of a parrot. Rob wins with, Oh yeah, suck my ding. <laughs> the worst possible choice for the person on the new $20 bill. Joe the Plumber or Andrew Jackson? See, it's funny because, you know. Oh, I thought that said, I didn't see the new. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys see that? This is going to risk coming across as insensitive. So I'm going to head it off of the pass and say, I don't mean this to be insensitive. Talk my yeah. day. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see that, that TIL that was like, Vern Troyer, you could literally stack like two Vern Troyers on top of one another, and Peter Dinklage would still be taller. And next is wow, oh. I was like, that's amazing! You probably I didn't know that. I also yard. think I might be misrepresenting it now, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm immediately googling Vern Troyer yeah. height. <laughs> no, you just go to eight. Wolfram Alpha and you put two times Vern oh, Troyer yeah. right, <laughs> greater than Peter Dinklage, and if it comes back with true, then you get it. Uh, I'm gonna. The sign you probably X shouldn't put up in your yard. Romney 2012 or Richest Local Family Award 2018. I I typed two times Vern Troyer equals Peter Tinklage question mark. 
I did read a TIL the other day about, so you know, the Jonestown Massacre. Yeah. Right? Yep, That's where the Counting yeah. Crows made that song about it. Next in mm. line. So there was, so apparently there was an old lady blank. who just fell asleep during that and woke up and there were just like 900 dead bodies around her. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's terrifying. All the fun of being in a cult without actually having to kill yourself. Mm hmm. All the fun of being in a cult. <laughs> Life would be so much better if we all lived in a simulation or if we all lived in hell. That Vern Troyer just... is 81 centimeters <laughs> tall and Peter Dinklage is 135 centimeters tall. Well, there okay. you go. Good old metric system. Yep. So you cannot stack two Vern Troyers to make one Peter Dinklage. How many Vern Troyers would it take to Just reach the sun? <laughs> Triers. <laughs> How tall is Yao Ming? Yao Ming's like massive. Oh, he's like three Troyers. Seven. At least. <laughs> more than I think he's actually Probably the inverse more. of Vern Troyer. Yeah, he's got to be like six. Because Vern he's, Troyer is he's 18 he's centimeters oh, tall. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea that Rob was giving a ridiculous height for Yao Ming, but he said six feet. Oh, he's got to be like six. <laughs> no, no, I said six, six for Troy. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. We missed out a new unit of measurement today. <laughs> yeah. Yao Ming is seven foot six, by the way. If evolution so is tall. true, then why hasn't blank evolved into blank? Oh, fuck off. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Wait, are there two prompts? Yeah. If I hit return? No. Or am I supposed to say thing evolved into thing? You, How does this work? Type two different oh, things shit. into the In same one line. prompt. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Separated by a comma? No, it's... this isn't right. I I'll parse it. It's okay. I gotta put a comma. Brain. In I got a big it. brain. It's okay. Wait, I had a, I, there's another good TIL I learned the other day. Um, so Neil Armstrong's name backwards is um, Gnort's Mister Alien. Oh yeah. If evolution is true, then why hasn't Tim Allen evolved into good actor? If evolution, you said you'd is, it. if evolution is true, then why hasn't bananas evolved into monkets? If evolution is true, then why hasn't my dick evolved into two dicks? If evolution is true, then why hasn't Pikachu evolved into Raichu? Wait, where's mine? I submitted mine. I got no answer in the middle. I submitted mine like 10 seconds in. I love monkets. That's getting my three votes. Dude, so you know, first off, I have no experience with this. I'm talking from a place of ignorance. But you know what the worst part about being like 81 centimeters tall would be? Uh. And I feel like there's a lot that's not great about it. Mostly the society, you know, we're not ready for yeah, that blood, kind of tolerance. Blood doesn't reach your you brain. shitheads making fun of you on the internet. Exactly. You know? The worst part would be, though, that, like, your basic metabolic rate is going to be, like, 60% that of a an average-sized adult. So you would mm. automatically have to eat less in order to not become, like, out of shape. That's why I'm like, yeah. Yao Ming... You're seven foot six or something. How did you get chubby? I just don't get it. <laughs> you have such an advantage relative to the rest of the population. <laughs> Maybe he's used to eating like a bajillion things. Yeah, yeah, yeah I get it. Like he used to know. be a professional no. athlete. I understand. Yeah. That. But like at the same time, I'm like, you're so like you you have such a huge advantage relative to the average sized person. That's true, yeah. Hey, speaking of eating a lot, did they have to cut off the Olympic athletes this year on the free McDonald's? <laughs> Wait, I've heard that was a problem in past uh, in past Olympics where uh, they, they give out free McDonald's to all the Olympic athletes, one of the perks uh, of getting to that position in life. And uh, one year they had to cut them off, so they just were taking too much. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> McDonald's, they're... <laughs> Uh, you know, the average McDonald's meal has like 70 cents of matter in it. Well, I hope <laughs> like, <it's, laughs> we're getting killed at the Olympics over here. <laughs> hey, I didn't do it. I would have let them take as much as they wanted. Bear one. Yeah. Bear one. They worked nice. hard for that. Right. Nice. Oh, it's like the main reason to become an Olympic athlete anyway. Free McDonald's. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
<sighs> what do you think about being 6'4", Austin? Is it is it good or bad? It's good overall. I think it's, so. You're like the needle's tilted still in the good direction. Yeah. Because if you're like if you're probably like six ten, you I think you're getting into bad range. Doors are too small. People yeah. irritate you and ask you if you're in the NBA. The, the one, the most inconvenient thing I think so far consistently has been shower height. Mm, oh yeah. Fair. Dude, Dude, even I at five ten, yeah, yeah, yeah the same thing. Well, that, you know what? Fuck the shower industry then in that case, because how is the, like, 5'10", everyone should be able to shower well. Come on, like, mm. put it up higher. Put the damn shower head up higher. Why is it so low? That was crazy in Ireland. Those shower heads were lower than I've ever seen in my life. And they have a weird thing where the bathtubs, you gotta step up into them, and they're, like, above the ground by a good margin. Like, you gotta step a good two, three feet up. <laughs> hmm. That's weird. I don't know what that's about either. Maybe they have like plumbing going underneath it, but they need like a platform. Actually, question: What was the last time you guys took a bath? Oh, uh, literally like two weeks ago. I, I was going really? to yesterday, but I decided not to. Oh, when I stayed over at Champions of Fire. Mm. Wow, you guys take baths way more often than me. Well, because I, I had a, I had a migraine like and it was 10. the only way. It I, the migraine <laughs> saved, stopped me from having. Or, wow, What's, Rob, you should have a bath. I've yeah, had a bath, a bath in like 16 years. Like, have legit. a bath, man. A <laughs> trick you shouldn't teach your answer. dog. Hide the snossage <laughs> or Christ air. <laughs> Christ air is so funny. I, I laughed yeah, when really I saw good. Christ air as well. Pretty good. <laughs> that one got me. I'm sorry. Dude, I, uh, someone in chat did the math and they said that Vern Troyer's basal metabolic rate is like 800 calories a day. That wow, sucks, oh man. God. That's that, I, that. I ate more than that for breakfast. Well, yeah. I mean, that maybe let's Chats. not go crazy, but like, <laughs> that's like if he goes out for a meal with other adults, Time to vote. he can't like know, I, eat the meal, or that's all he can. Eat. Of Swiss, I, I had a packet of Swiss rolls today. That might be 800 calories. Like a whole box? Well, no, just a, just a single pack. It comes with a two. Oh. You know? I don't think that's eight. No way. A business <laughs> or service is really good. <laughs> a business or service that shouldn't have a drive through window. Sperm bank or check house? They're both really good. <laughs> the chat is uncultured, Ryan. I like, so. what's a yeah, Christ right. air? I don't get it. So I thought that was like a universally known it's, thing. It's Rune Glyphberg's best trick. Play Tony Hawk's Play Pro Skater 2 Tony chat Hawk game, yeah. Okay, next one. A movie that should never be made into a theme park ride. The Human Centipede or Garden State. Nice. I don't know which one's worse. Yeah. Uh, yeah, good stuff. I guess Human Centipede would be just you riding through the digestive tracts of many people. I think they That'd would be just sew you up. You'd have to connect to, to people and then you yeah. just go on a roller coaster. Oh, God, you'd connect to everyone else on the roller coaster. I mean, it's really kind of like already. Every roller coaster is a little bit like the human centipede. Except mm. without the anal to mouth sewing. Yeah. There's there's a poster for the last human centipede that is looking out of a lady's asshole as someone's <laughs> mouth is about to go over it. <laughs> Like that's, that's a real thing. When you when you ask your friends, "Hey, do you want to go see the human centipede?" You're really opening up a part of yourself that you're maybe not sure people should see. Yeah, you're exposing your double-digit IQ. <laughs> the how worst... many people do you think? What's the over/under on how many people have jerked off to the human centipede? Oh my god! Oh, the worst thing to like find that. frozen in an ice cube: your soul or an endless fractal of stacked civilizations. Nice. These are good. There's probably like a significant number of people in this chat who've done it. Yeah. Mm, that's good. That's a good point. I've watched the original Human Centipede. There's nothing in that that should make you want to think about jerking off. Chat, if you have masturbated to the Human Centipede, can I get a Pog Champ? Yeah. Wait. He's <laughs> Justin is right. Just because you've jacked off during it doesn't mean you jacked off to Next it. One. To it. That's uh, fair. That's yeah, a good point. Yeah. Yeah. Sure yeah. We have sex. You guys ever yeah. have? There it is. <laughs> any kind oh, that's of, wild. Mm, okay. You guys ever have any kind of uh, sexual interaction during a regrettable movie? Hmm. Uh, I don't think I'd yes. remember the movie. I remember the movie. I don't think I'm allowed to talk movie, about though. it. Like, what, no, what it wasn't a J.O. situation. Well, you're jacking situation. up during movies. 
People have to multitask these days. Yeah, sometimes you just watch, yeah, you want to watch a movie, and then all of a sudden, just midway through pause, yeah. Sean Connery's film Finding Forrester, you're, you find yourself being the man now, dog. <laughs> if you know I wish they I mean. called the website that. <laughs> Treasure Planet. Oh, it seems you find know. yourself as the man now, dog. <laughs> well, someone in chat said, fingered my girlfriend behind her mom in the movie theater. Oh, that's oh. Oh. you got that's a she something to be proud of. Yeah, See, here's bad. the here's the worst part of that. She knew. Probably. I mean, what, they probably when did. Yeah, what when you're in say? that situation, what can you do? Yeah. You just wait. Mom. Yeah. You, you like, just got to accept it. I think you just got to be like. Uh. No, that's, if I was the dad, I'd pull out my shotgun. You might have been dying inside. <laughs> Someone, the Chad should run this show. Someone, and I lost they your do. name here, but they just said, uh, oh lord, got a blowjob during a King of Queens episode, couldn't come, so I watched the whole episode <laughs> while she was down there. <laughs> That's Which like a, it's a Curb Your Enthusiasm moment right there. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, I had a great answer, but it requires me to be able to have capital and lowercase letters. That's unfortunate. Someone said, my man. <laughs> Is the my man for not coming or for watching the whole episode? And the, the whole episode <laughs> was just Jerry Stiller saying, you gotta be kidding me, over and over. Coming from a blowjob is actually impossible. You gotta lay off the, the gel. I think you, yeah, you gotta uh, stop uh, using your death grip, man. Mm -hmm. Very not impossible. <laughs> you have a story? Is that My man. Yes, I have come from a blowjob before. <laughs> oh, let me tell you, it's a real page turner. <laughs> a hip new advertising slogan for socks. It's like a Tide Pod for your foot, or they're Magnum condoms for your feet. <laughs> Same direction. You know socks go on feet, guys. <laughs> for your feet. My man. My you say man. replace, you say is, for your feet after anything, it makes it funny. It's like a blowjob for your feet. <laughs> Ooh. That's gross. Is it? What if the mom's still <laughs> mad at, like, to this day? Oh, about the ever, daughter. You guys have oh, yeah. Them, your, your foot into someone's asshole? No. You're just saying things again, Rob. I think Ryan's yeah, talking about really it. Okay. okay. The foot in yeah. Uh, hey, hello. Make up a word. Hey, how's it going? Make up a word that means to make up a word. Bibble snurt or moopberg? <laughs> oh, these are both really nice. Yeah, I, I like moopberg. So, Gonna give a nod to bibble snurt. Wait, wait. Can you say moopberg but with like a with an English uh, pronunciation? <laughs> oh, you mean moopbera? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> 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 uh. So I have to mention this, because if I don't do it now, I might not get a chance before the show ends, but uh, did you guys see the photo of me on the log flume? Yes. The, yes. Absolutely. Yeah, everybody what happened there. That flume, I have to point out, was indoors, so you can imagine the drop was not very large. Yeah. You know? And as I was I was laughing on the ride, the worst air and I'm not going to read this prompt, because it's fine, but <laughs> we're going we're gonna to overrun it. But... Um, <laughs> We were going down the uh, the flume, and we, we were doing like the normal part. I was looking around, and I was laughing because I was like, "This ride's for babies." And then we approached the drop, and I was like, "This drop is so small." Instantaneously, as soon as I hit the acceleration on the descent, I was like, "My brain just switches into being afraid for my life." Like it, it <laughs> I cannot override. The biological <laughs> imperative to just scream as if I'm gonna die, and that's yeah. when they took the photo. Like people are like, "Whoa, did you plan for that?" No, that is the look. If I was in a plane crash, that would be my face as we're going down. And it's like a ten foot drop on the fucking flume. And it, Kate, now we we have three or four of these photos from roller coasters, and every single one is exactly the same. 
even with it, like, it doesn't matter if it's for babies or if it's, like, the scariest roller coaster you could ever imagine. It's always me with, like, a David Letterman vacation beard looking like a miner on a <laughs> runaway minecart or something like that, just, like, <laughs> wanting to die. You should go on uh, Jurassic Park in... Dude, I've uh, been on Jurassic Universal. Park. That's a drop right there. Not really. No, that a drop but... right there. The, the the funny thing is, Lo we went to Lote World, which is like, it's the indoor amusement park. Lote and... World. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lote World. It's like uh, What's in the the, box? the the flume ride. Clearly, they were like halfway through building it when the Jurassic Park ride took off. Because mm. when it starts, it's Sinbad's adventure. Like there's like you go through and there's like puppets of Arabian men holding scimitars and then you exit the tunnel and there's just like <laughs> like vinyl velociraptors and like T-Rex heads and stuff like that and you're like oh okay I get it and then it splashes down and you're like alright <laughs> they're like hey you can't make it to Japan or America here's it's Parasic Jark <laughs> low T world <laughs> Yeah, I want to know I'm, I'm on a little bit of a Christ kick in my. Yeah, I noticed, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'm digging it. Like I voted for low Christ. Low T world. And that's all for round two. Fire up oh my God, Chad just got mauled. England has high T. Mubot is destroying. Timeouts, yeah. It's just timing out the same person over and over. <laughs> yeah, dude, what the hell? <laughs> what the fuck? Welcome. Yeah, fuck really that one particular Only we could see it too, I think. Oh yeah, I see it. I see the person now. That's really weird. <laughs> Last flash prompt is sucks to be you, guy. This this music makes Quiplash seem way more intense than it is. <laughs> Instead of hump day, we should call Wednesday. Hmm. Oh, I don't like this prompt. Yeah, this sucks. Yeah, it's, it's terrible. It's terrible. actually good. Mm, no, it's not. You're dumb, I'm smart, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Oh man, I hate that guy. Why don't you ever support me? That was that was tough hearing myself be berated for the entire first. Oh, hour that's of right. Show. Your name's Alex. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I literally know you as Bear. I everyone does. Yeah. Yeah. I call it's you Bear because... when I meet you in real life. It's be pause, pause, and pause. Uh, he, his name is also Alex, and yeah, nobody yeah. calls him Alex. <laughs> How many fucking mics do we know at this point? No kidding, man. Yeah. We need to get rid of some mics. Instead of hump day, we should call Wednesday low T world, Wednesday, like with the, when is it? Trump day, Thursday, or nothing. Yeah, man. So I don't why, know. This why is Trump just... day? I don't get it. It's it's a, hump day, Trump day. day. Hump day, Trump day. Got it. Yeah. yeah hump, Trump day. I understand. Hump day, yeah. I don't think you should be able to name your child Michael. Okay. Uh, yeah, we got enough. Well, we got enough we got, mics. We got too many. Actually, I want to go a step further. Okay. After being at an amusement park, which might have made me a little biased. Yeah. United Nations binding resolution. No kids, three years. Wait, on, no, wait, on what? No, no one can have any? Can't have any kids for the next three years. Oh, okay. There's just going to be a weird gap. There would be a catastrophic thing that would happen like 70 years from now when a very large portion of the population would just kind of drop. Yep. That, and Beef. that's kind of what I'm like, angling for. Would that be bad? <laughs> no. No, 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 no kids it would, it would three catch, years. It would catch back up. It would, it would reset. I think I probably the human race would have a much better shot at survival if you just sort of like randomly eliminated 50% of it every 100 years or so. Yeah. Well, so. I too think that on. we should kill three and a half billion people. <laughs> <laughs> These are the kind of opinions I go on this show to espouse, really. I'm, I'm going to be honest, though, like. I'm not gonna have any kids in the next three days, so like I already have three that. Days. No, three that's days. A bet. <laughs> <laughs> so you're so really pretty, sacrificing a lot there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you said three years. I huh? said three years. Yeah. Uh, that's a lot. Of, that's a lot <laughs> harder. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, also, bad news. Uh, Dennis's son is named Michael. What? Oh, oh my god, god. <laughs> I thought he was I thought he died or something the way you phrased that. <laughs> I was like, no! Oh my god. Bad news. Oh, 
Oh, it was let me, let me slip is, this in real quick. My, my brain filled in the gaps automatically for a good half second. That was horrible. Jeez. Oh, yeah, I know. I mean, he's, he's alive as far as I know. It's great. I'm very yeah. happy. We have a bad track record on this show, so I'm a little <laughs> lazy. <laughs> if he spelled it with a Y, is that okay? Uh, it's actually technically uh, Michael. Ah. ah okay. Yeah, so I mean, it's Michael. It's Michael, yeah. It's just Russian Michael. Yeah. Hmm. It's like, I, I don't think you should be able to name your child something too common, but you definitely should not be able to name it something completely unique either. What if we at this point moving forward ban the top 100 male and female names okay and just start on it you can't name anyone the top 100 names mm. you gotta gotta find something fresh there's a there's actually oh, there i saw a go. gif where it sh like it Our went through from like 1900 to 2000 something of just like the most popular i saw that as well state. yeah yeah it's pretty interesting okay what if we have a, a calendar of names per day and for the rest of time, we lay out every day someone's born, they'll be no named that name that day. Absolutely not. <laughs> Always be different names every day. You'll you'll know exactly when someone's born based on that. That'd be terrible. <laughs> we should just name people numbers. Yeah, there you go. That's Much even better. better. Yeah. And we can put a barcode on the back of their head. <laughs> a lesser known Knight of the Round Table. <laughs> sir Jusser or Sir Humpsalot. I just realized how generic is the NLSS in names. Well, that's we people are going all Alex right. Ryan. Yeah, Alex yeah. Ryan, Austin, Nick, Rob, Michael, Daniel, Josh. Yeah. There's no know, way we hit every mark. I know. Hoffa. <laughs> right. what, what's Hafu's name? I don't. It's, know. it's probably oh, like. Sarah. I, I, I don't think anyone knows. I don't know. The worst 1960s teen movie was definitely Dirty Homeless Beach or Omaha Beach. <laughs> <laughs> the people are saying like, all right, Ryan, like I'm gonna be mad if there's no more Ryans ever. Yeah. Like I'll be like, no, please. How many How many Robs have you guys met in your life? All, all uh, variations. Which are probably like a lot of Bobs. At least 70. <laughs> I had no. a grade school friend named Robert Getchow. I still remember that. Really? Yeah. Well, get you out of there. Get the you out. Only, the only Robs I've actually ever met are in my family, because my family is also not creative. There's like four of them. And next is people are saying Austin's an uncommon name. Family. That's not true, right? No, it's the whole city name. Yeah, it's fairly yeah. common. Yeah. There were like four Austins in my first grade class. Yeah. A great birthday present for your worst enemy. Box full of wasps with wasps written on it. <laughs> <laughs> or regular Cheerios. Austin, I had a great bit for you, and you're going to like it too, Rob, because it's from Check House. At Check House, they did like a, a rock, paper, scissors tournament to give away like a hat or something. They had a lot of time to kill, all right? Okay. So they brought up people from the audience, and there's two dudes, and they're like, hey, where are you from? First guy's like, I'm from America. Second dude, they're like, where are you from? Republic of Texas. <laughs> and then oh, the, the host, who was Czech, was like, is that a real thing? People actually call it that? And he said, yep. And everyone in the audience was going, I don't know about that. Actually, <laughs> Make up a name for the space between your nostrils. Flanderog or a Mandelbrot set? That's uh, Howie, Howie Mandelbrot. <laughs> Howie Mandel Mother. <laughs> something. something uh, I, I isn't that, isn't that the name of the judge in that bla in 15 Million Merits? In Black Mirror. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it is. Mandel I don't think I, I don't think anyone could confirm that. <laughs> wow. I don't think anyone knows. Look, I like Black Mirror. Rob, that was super specific. <laughs> <laughs> that's an anime. I think it is. Yeah. That, oh, that's definitely. An anime. Yeah. There's no way. <laughs> Next. An, an Olympic sport, sport that, that never made it. Made it. Synchronized. Synchronized. Audio or synchronized the slide culture. Oh, nice. A little extra flair. You can think of it as people sliding around or slide whistles done synchronously. Yep. His name's Howie Mandelbrot. 
<laughs> they really called him Howie wow. Mandel, bro. Howie. <laughs> yeah, Howie, Howie Mandel, bro, yeah. Hilarious. He's the Australian judge. <laughs> on, the, on the name subject again, I'm curious. Chat, with the vote yays or vote nays, I want to know, do you like your own name? That's going to be a lot of nays. You, you think, think so? so? I think, like, automatically everyone hates their own name on average. I, I love my own name, actually. But now they're going to say yay to prove you wrong. Look at this. Yeah. I think most people Literally like their everybody own name. For a little while Cuz it's like um it's like what's the opposite of buyer's remorse? Buyer's thrill. It's like once you buy <laughs> something when you're stuck with something you're more likely to be happy with it or at least content. It's well, not even a buyer in that case. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh loaners. confirmation bias. <laughs> I guess so, yeah. We went to a set. We we had this conversation in our school once and we we asked people and it was a very like Unanimous vote nay, at least in my school. I mean, if you could rename like, yourself, what would you want your name to be? Fuck, I don't know, dude. <laughs> See, that's the thing. I'm like, if I could rename myself, I'm just, I'm, I'm fine with Ryan. I don't want to have to change all my ID. I, I, I like Robert. I think it's a good yeah, name. Nothing wrong with it. Mm -hmm. You know, if your name was Blanket, mm. I might yeah, consider it. Definitely. Or, or Apple. Apple. Yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Right there. Well, you know, two famous shitty names for children. <laughs> Come Do you on, think you can name a kid Adolf and get away with it? Nope. We Dude. we had that bit on the show, and then when we said it's probably a bad idea, one dude called us racist. <laughs> racist? He's like, there's a long, proud history of Adolfs that are not Hitler. And they're like, yeah, I know, I know. but there's also one who kind of besmirches the whole thing, you know? You really <laughs> fucked it up for everybody else, yeah. I'm not saying yeah, you can't, I'm that just saying, you know, be considerate. Dude, we we were talking about TILs earlier. I read another TIL from a couple days ago that there is a doctor, and I think he's a dentist. His name is Dr. Gay Hitler. <laughs> Oh, yeah! Oh, man. I, I saw that, too. I swore to God I was reading a Circle Jerk post because, like, even halfway through it, you're like, there's no way this is a yeah. real person. His dad's name is George Washington okay, Hitler. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Yet another practical use for a placenta. Mini trampoline or Thanksgiving centerpiece? <laughs> Dude, nice. Moon Unit Zappa, I forgot about also, that Also, a bad name. I That's feel like bad. Today I Learns are kind of bullshit sometimes on Reddit. But did you know that be, Steve yeah. Bushimi is a volunteer NYFD <laughs> firefighter who, uh, after 9-11, uh, single-handedly killed Osama bin Laden and compromised him to a permanent aim? <laughs> after did receiving you... orthodontic procedures from <laughs> Dr. Gay Hitler. <laughs> Did you know that Man, Jimmy Graham used to play basketball? I did know that, yeah. Mm -hmm. A rejected name for the game Yancey. It's voting time. Shickle Shake and Chuck Em Out. Or Lakshmi. <laughs> is that the name of Anakin's mother? That's it! The prequels? Like, this is, it sounded so familiar. <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, wait, wait. You guys like the flaming lips? No. Yeah. His name's Steve Bushimi. Oh, okay. All right, yeah. Uh -oh. This is, um... His eyes look kind of funny. <laughs> what is the song called? Armageddon. <laughs> oh, just... Uh, uh, What's the, you gotta remind me what the song is called. Uh, it's Bushimi Battles the Pink Robots. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shimmy. Those asymmetric eyeballs <laughs> aren't, aren't really photogenic. Anyway, you get the idea. Song. You, you heard that on one of those rock bands or something, didn't you? It, it, well, I mean, I'm a fan of the Flaming Lips ever since their 1999 classic, uh, you know, the soft bulletin. The Matrix. But, yeah, they were really good in the Matrix. <laughs> <laughs> I accidentally your face, Austin? What, what happened there? It's a meme. I don't okay. care. <laughs> meme. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure. And next is another name. Another for name for Canada. Canada. Shithole country or Adenac. <laughs> Fucking got him. 
You know it's Mr. Ellie. Knows it's a meme. Sure. Whatever. <laughs> I don't care. You only got seven minutes left. Gnorts to you all. I might do another one. I don't know. I don't care if I... So, like, I know I'm very wary of shit-talking my professor, because I'm a pretty <laughs> big deal, you know? It's like <laughs> if... Oh, yeah, we know. <laughs> yeah, it's like if, if Justin Trudeau got up on the, did the State of the Union and was like, I hate Northern Lion, it would probably get back around to me at some point, right? I think but so. You need to hear about it. We're going to week eight of a 12-week class. We haven't gotten any marks back yet. We've done a midterm three assignments to like four labs. So I don't know, I might have a zero in the class. The dude just doesn't give us our... It's gonna, literally before the final, he's gonna be like, by the way, you got a B right now, so. <laughs> it's not okay. I'm like, every week that goes by, I'm like writing the professor evaluation in my head. Like, this guy is lazy. Do you I, I like that uh, lazy professor voice that you gave him. Yeah. <laughs> you got a B. Yeah, you got a B. Yeah. But, like, do grades matter to you for what you're doing? Yeah, because it's, like, I'm not looking to get a scholarship or something like that, but I do want to be superior to my peers. Ah, okay, fair superior. enough. Superior. Yeah, exactly. Ah, my fucking keyboard. Yeah, I'll give him a chili pepper on Rate Your Profs, that's fine. He's a hottie. Round two is <laughs> I just wish you'd give me my assignments back. He's a hottie. He's a... <laughs> I mean, I was mad at him, but then I got to his class, and wow. <laughs> what a smoke show. Is three, I love how happy my guy looks when I'm winning. Values are tripled, mm -hmm. and everyone gets the same That's what we're doing all the time here. I teach at These the things. university. I would hate to have Ryan as a student. Why? Oh. <laughs> I sit quietly, and when someone goes, hey, what's the answer to this question? I usually don't go first. I go second. I wait for someone else to give a wrong answer, and then I go, mm, it's yeah. actually dumb. Uh, you are that guy. <laughs> and then I do all my homework and I submit it on time. What a terrible student. And also, I don't believe that person. Who says, I'm a professor at the university? <laughs> I work at the business factory and I would hate to have NL as a client. Dude, that reminded me of, I've been watching uh, BoJack Horseman and that character that's three kids stacked on top of each other <laughs> inside of the trench coat and BoJack keeps telling her, it's like, it's just three kids and she's like, he's an adult. And then he's like, I want to do business at the business. <laughs> I don't know why, but that gets me every fucking time I lose Vincent, my mind. Vincent adult man, yeah. Great. <laughs> It's so good. <laughs> the only reason to ever play a banjo, jug band groupies, when you don't need to run fast. Ah, you're going to have to explain that one in a sec. Dance with the devil in the pale moonlight to summon the banjo demon or folk covers of rap music. So, when you don't need to run fast, what's up with that? When you, when you, uh, you play kazooie when you need to run fast. Kazooie? Banjo. The bird from banjo and kazooie? Don't. Ever. <laughs> what? Am I losing? Am I having a stroke right now? <laughs> what do you mean you play Kazooie? Go <laughs> Banjo Kazooie! <laughs> <laughs> Three <laughs> votes for when you don't no need one, to run. No one fast. wanted to cross the line and insult you by telling you what that joke was. Oh, I was like, oh, the banjo is a musical. Are you talking about yakety sax? <laughs> We all cared too much. <laughs> Why is Banjo Kazooie popular again? I've been seeing a lot of banjo memes. I don't know. You know, maybe you should take a nap. Yeah, you can go. I got class after this. Oh fuck. Where I'm gonna antagonize the university professor <laughs> by by being present and accounted for. Speed runs are popular now? Oh. Okay. Mm. Well, just as of late. I'm glad they've taken <laughs> off. <laughs> That's all. You guys want to do scores. one more? Yeah. Sure. Sick. All right. Yeah. Sure. Bear wins. Are you late for class? Hey. I don't care if I'm late for class, because the motherfucker doesn't give the assignments back. <laughs> 
I shouldn't have called him a down? motherfucker. That was too far. <laughs> <laughs> He's a, he is a working professional who teaches at night, but at the same time... I mean, he could have a wife and kids, so... That yeah, but like, okay, don't... Then, if you're not going to mark the assignments in a timely fashion, don't give out the assignments. Just give a, have that a midterm and a final. Someone's mother is his point. That's that's more what I was saying. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Who prefer your answer. Answer. Have at it. I can't imagine in high school ever getting, like, upset to any degree about something like this. It's cause you yeah, because in high school, you're not paying $450 yeah, no, to take the class. I understand. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm mad, okay? That'll work. Alright, I did it. Night crime. You guys see Blade Runner 2049? I yeah. haven't yet. It's so good. It's a fantastic it? movie. How does it match up to Blade Runner 1980? Favorable. Favorable. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I've well, heard I've seen, that. I've seen the old one. Why should I see the new one? Because it's not the same movie. Why? Mm. <laughs> Why'd you make the same movie again? It's not. It's not a remake. And what is it? It's a sequel. It's a sequel. Yeah. You can't make a sequel to an old movie. That doesn't make any sense. No, nah, that's dumb. Probably. <laughs> the, the joke is. You can only make original new content. <clears throat> yep. The official medical term for belly button lint, or a chalcum, or bellyant. Nice. I'm pretty sure it's actually Oracle coming, but pronounce it wrong on your show, I guess that's up to you. <laughs> found that Oral. stuff in Terraria, and then everyone had to tell me how to say it all the time. So you just, if you're going to remember how it rhymes, just say Oral Calcum, and... <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's, uh, that's, you, that's the best way to get the cum from the cow. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant cow like a guy named Cow. What? No, I mean like cow and like a guy <laughs> named cow. <laughs> <laughs> like a man named cow. I said cow, C A L. Cow. Like Callahan. Something in a weirdo's bedroom. A trap door under the rug filled with anime. Or a hollowed out <laughs> jawbreaker with a human ear in it. <laughs> I, I now can't get the image out of my head of someone being interrogated by Colonel Hans Landa. <laughs> you are you are harboring enemies of the state, aren't you? <laughs> it was just like ten body pillows under the floor. <laughs> Where are they? <laughs> Somebody asked if that was an impression of the cockroach man from Men in Black. We have been on a Vincent D'Onofrio kick for a little bit. So. His cast members. Au revoir, Shoshana Chan. A great opening line to start a conversation with a stranger at a party. What do your feet smell like? Or, you know, I have over 100,000 subscribers. That says, what do your feet smell like? <laughs> wow. <laughs> I also love the Hans Landa impression is uh, Conan O'Brien's old-timey baseball voice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, no. Oh, you're harboring enemies of the state, see? Oh, <laughs> 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 What? What do your feet smell like? <laughs> uh, this, I I still like have a pixel perfect memory of this image, and I'm sure it'll even get linked of that woman, the what woman? Yes, you know, I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Good, good one. That's a good one. And also, Bear, you're a dick for laughing at that picture. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you're right. It's supposed to be Spider Man. He's, no, he's the Spud Man. Oh, okay. A vanity you license to say Spider Man. A vanity Sorry. license plate. A jerk in an expensive car. We get Spud or too rich for you. 
Speed Demon. Sp it's Speed, Speed Demon. Demon. <laughs> it's Scooter Man. <laughs> I Spoot. thought it was supposed to be Spider Man. <laughs> it's Speed <Spoot> Demon. <laughs> why would there be two Ds? <laughs> well, that's what I was gonna roast you on. Is like, why wouldn't you just <laughs> use an R instead? <laughs> what the government? You wanted why, to tell people why that he was your Spider Man. license plate for Spider Man so dumb. I, I just wanted it to say it. Spider Man. <laughs> yeah. What the government is hiding from the public in Area 497? Wyoming two or 77 weeds? <laughs> That's too many. I like both of these. Wyoming, too, is like the start of uh, <laughs> an r slash no sleep post. <laughs> or uh, an yeah, SCP right, yeah. or something. <laughs> yeah, it is. You, you guys why it's, you guys get why it's 77 weeds? No. Not sure I do. 497 minus... Oh, uh, fuck. Oh, oh, fuck. Oh, oh, minus 420. Minus yeah. Oh. yeah. Yeah, four... <laughs> Math joke! Amazing. <laughs> Did yeah. someone write Wyoming 2 as a short story? I'd like to read it. <laughs> yeah, put it in writing props, dude. It's not really a joke, because jokes board. tend to be funny. Wow. Mm. <laughs> Ouch. 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 I never said it was a joke. I said, do you get why? The fuck the fuck? Round two is straight ahead. That was such a sad motherfucker. <laughs> motherfucker. Motherfucker. <laughs> He's really shit. hard on that. <laughs> Oh, what the fuck? <sighs> this is bad. Ugh. That answer is so dumb, I love it. God. I think I might make Pollo Guisado for dinner. <laughs> He say it again, but Pollo Guisado. All right. The character named Ryan was newly announced on January. No. <laughs> <laughs> He was he was a successor to the throne of the Dung Dung Island in Africa, but he escaped okay, for a free go. life. First That's up, good. The terrible fate of the snowman Olaf in a director's The terrible fate frozen. of the snowman Olaf. In a director's cut of Frozen, okay, poured out for merchandise or drowned in pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that answer. <laughs> Suicide by mods. <laughs> oh, Wait, this really was good. he got plowed. Oh, I forgot. He got I plowed. That was a, that's a classic. Better, yeah. Jokes. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, yeah, that's a good sound. Right, what yeah, you little little what the Statue robe. of Liberty is hiding beneath that robe? Parasitic twin or thick bootay? I totally remember why I brought up Blade Runner 2049. Ooh, okay. I watched it on the airplane, but they censored it. There's some nudity in it. They censored, you know, the female breast. But then oh, I like that. there's a moment in the movie where they go to like a city that's sort of destroyed and there's statues and they censored the boobies on the statue. <laughs> and I was like, come on. Did it be soft in the new Assassin's Creed? Really? It, yeah, they made a freaking mode where you can walk around and look at classic art, except they they hid the boobs. Too far. <laughs> Actually too far. <laughs> it's a statue of a naked human being. Well, you don't want to awaken anything in anybody, you know. Like right, that's yeah, pornography yeah. now? Is <laughs> Dude, we, we went back to Utah, I think, like a year and a half ago, and they've got big old billboards up everywhere in Salt Lake City that say, Cosmopolitan is porn for kids. You know the what? magazine? What? It's the magazine? Yeah. yeah. Utah. What look, are you doing? Look, I didn't see any porn when I was younger, and I turned out fine, all right? <laughs> 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 What does that mean? <laughs> Cosmopolitan is born for kids. It means Mormons are fucking psychotic. What kind of what kids are going and buying Cosmo? 
Yeah, that's true, too. The, the 12-year-old Utah boys are like, check it out, Jebediah. I got a Cosmo. <laughs> Dude, you joke, but... Like, the suppression in the the bubble is is nuts. <laughs> Believe it. God, imagine li growing up there. Oh, <laughs> I... <laughs> <laughs> Sure would be weird. <laughs> what they really found in King Tut's tomb, the entire set of Wheel of Fortune or anime porn. You think, uh, so, you know, obviously we've all said if we ever have kids, we don't want them to watch this. Oh. You think, like, if we have a lineage that lasts a couple generations, you think they'll go and back and be like, I wonder what great-great-grandpa was doing on the internet. The moment you hired him. Yeah. And hey, find... you ever come on your own pubes? <laughs> <laughs> That's annoying, right? Then you gotta take a cold shower because the hot water just bakes it right into the follicle. In the past, up until the internet age, we could always look back fondly on the generations past with some sort of, like, rosy glasses and say, well... <laughs> You know, we, we don't have a direct way to know exactly everything they thought and said, so we'll just remember them that they were all heroes. Yeah. We don't get that treatment. We're different. That's true. <laughs> They're going to see, like, uh, pictures of their great-great-granddad, you know, yeah. drunk off his ass, falling into a toy pond. Follow our Twitters <laughs> and YouTube and Twitch, and then you'll know everything we did every single day. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the end of round two. Let's take a look at And while you're at it, follow yeah. our Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube. <laughs> It's nice that you're like, you know, you're going to be remembered, like, honestly. Okay, but by the way, side note, though, Timberwolf in my chat linked me a website called CosmoHurtsKids.com slash welcome. Oh my God. Slash welcome. <laughs> slash welcome. Slash welcome. Hey, yeah. thanks for coming to our website. Um, <laughs> I gotta mention someone goes to that website and is like, who's Cosmo? <laughs> Cosmo Kramer. Yeah, we should, barely we should deal with this Cosmo guy. I think we did. He's hmm. hurting kids. Slash welcome. Dot ASPS. <laughs> That's like a really weird hill to die on. Why do you hate Hilda? Cosmo? It's Hilda. She's back Hilda. again. Hilda die on. Yeah. Hilda Dion. Hilda Dion. But like, why? Why do you choose that as your? Well, I guess there's also the lady who hates Monster Energy drinks. So. Yep. <laughs> Whatever. I guess. <laughs> you got to be passionate about something. I guess so. <laughs> I love that Everybody's she in. probably booked that like Happy convention votes. space six months in advance, and then she <laughs> went to like the craft store and bought one of those trifold like science fair displays, and then was decorating it with stuff. <laughs> oh. And then she's like, yep. this, like that's sometimes I have dumb ideas, and I'll be like, yeah, you know, that would be really cool. And then I wake up and I go, that's stupid. I'm not gonna do that. She yep. followed it through the whole way. <laughs> the whole way with that, yeah. Something fun to ask the old wise man on top of the mountain. Would you rather drink horse cum or what's fucking wrong with me, Lamal? <laughs> <laughs> what do your feet smell like? Does Cosmo hurt kids or is there a Starbucks up here? Lol, so random. <laughs> Cos <laughs> Cosmo hurts kids. Apparently, it's not a Mormon thing. Welcome. Someone wanted to tell me. Oh, but it's just a Utah thing, I guess. Warning: This site contains sexual material not suitable for kids. <laughs> the, the daughter of the owner of Cosmo was pissed she was written out of her inheritance, so she paid for those billboards trying to ruin them. Oh my god, what a fucking story. Oh yeah, hi, I'm Victoria Hearst. My family's company, the Hearst Corporation, publishes Cosmopolitan Magazine, also known as Cosmo. She's Rosebud? <laughs> That's silly. I'll get involved, there's a flyer. Okay, please, please print out this flyer and give it to family, friends, churches, and merchants that carry Cosmopolitan Magazine. Hello, um, <laughs> Mr. 7-Eleven uh, Clerk. Uh, got an interesting bit of reading material for you here. <laughs> Here's a flyer that uh, is going to hurt your business. Would you please display this for free in your store? <laughs> for an issue you couldn't give less of a shit about. <laughs> Wait, here, hold on. 
Uh, Cosmo seduces underage girls into reading the magazine by putting teen and quote-unquote tween idols on the cover, oh. and by printing articles listing the best colleges to go to have sex. <laughs> <laughs> they do that? <laughs> yep. Holy shit. Uh, yeah. Wait, nobody ever gave me the list when I was picking from colleges. I know, they only They're supposed the to do that. The yeah. pizza places. Uh, you all know number one is Arizona State, right? <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, of course. You go to Arizona State if you're angling to fuck. <laughs> Good callback. Hey, <laughs> let's take some time to pick our channels. Why don't we start with a bear taffy? Why actually, no, sorry. Why don't we start with Austin? All right. Ooh, we go right. in the inverse order of I appearance. Know, I know, I know. Denied. Uh, Twitch.tv slash last underscore grand underscore wolf. Gonna play some more into the breach right now. I'm in the middle of a run, actually. If you want to watch that. Game's great. You should play it and, uh, and watch and play it. Sweet and bear taffy. Hey, fuck Alex, right, man? I got <laughs> I'm bear taffy. Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, B A E R taffy. I am back to doing things again. I am also playing some Into the Breach. Probably not tonight, but definitely soon. And uh, we're back with Roundtable as well. Twitch.tv slash Roundtable podcast every Friday at 3 p.m. Pacific. How about you, uh, Robert? Yeah, hi, I'm Rob, also known as Alpac Patrol. You can find me at Alpac Patrol everywhere, Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube. Also, discord.gg slash Alpac Patrol. Movie night on Saturdays. It's very fun. You should watch for... We come to movie night for good times on Saturdays. What do your feet smell like? (laughs) (laughs) Where is the anime? (laughs) It is under the floorboards. (laughs) Have you... (laughs) <laughs> what? You were on the joke the, the, the joke in my head the joke in my head was so good it made me laugh before I could even like I know, figure it I out. Know. Where is the Neon Genesis Evangelion? <laughs> Nazis saying any anime, I think really just has a lot of uh, merit to it by itself. Mm-hmm. Oh, nuts anime. Nuts oh, anime. yeah. Mm-hmm. Nuts animation. <laughs> Glorious Bastards 2 2018 edition. Mm-hmm. That oh. is the Naruto. How about you, Nicholas? Uh, come on over. I'm going to beat Subnautica now. I'm ready to go. Let's do this. Nice. Twitch TV slash Rockley Smile. But y'all won back the anime crowd today. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. We'll, we'll talk. <laughs> Everybody but Austin, who's irredeemable. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like Dragon Ball Z. That's all, I'm just going to say it. I, I enjoy Don't it. Don't even bother. Just... <laughs> <laughs> and Attack on Titan. Yeah, you got it. Where have you hidden Hatsune Miku? <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be the format, right? It's just where have you hidden, and then yeah, the where, name of the X anime. or Y. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> there is the anime name. Yeah, yeah. something related. To anime. I like. There is the fun hidden. punch man. <laughs> <laughs> and the more Japanese sounding, the better, I think. I think so. Yeah, that one was a little. There too have you hidden Hajime no Ippo? <laughs> nah, I don't know if it works. Wait, hold on. What was that one that Mathis was watching recently? Little Witch Academia? Or... No, oh, there was another one. Hold Dragon on. Keep rattling them off. Uh, that might be it. Yeah. Didn't they have like a weird Japanese name, though? Not that all, not that all Japanese names are weird, Bear. Oh, oh, oh hey. <laughs> Woo! Almost. <laughs> what is Dragon Maid Cafe? I'm gonna conjecture. I think it's about a bunch of maids in a cafe. <laughs> And but that, they're dragons. And they're dragons, yeah. How would they fit inside a cafe unless it's massive? Mm. Who are they serving? Other dragons? It might be other dragons, yeah. Do you they're mean thinking of Miss Kobayashi's dragon. Kobayashi's yeah, son no okay. made dragon? Yeah, <laughs> These don't look like dragons. They look like young ladies. Yeah, that's a confusing element, isn't it? <laughs> By the way, this, oh, this 300-year-old woman certainly looks like a 12-year-old girl. That's strange. <laughs> I'm going to be late for class, but you know what, what was weird about speaking a little Korean and then being back there was having to lean really hard into a Korean accent 
when you speak it and realizing that if you did that in Canada, people would be like, this guy's being real racist right now. Yeah. But in, when, you're, when you're in Korea, you go like, uh, ice coffee you say oh, grande size. And they go, nay, they'd give you the iced coffee, the grande size. If you did that here, people would be like, you're a dick. <laughs> Hey, you walk over to Canada, and you're just like, oh, how about uh, how about the uh, the the Flyers, huh? This year, and they, they go like, what? And you go, oh, I'm sorry, yeah. How how about them Flyers? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell accent did you just? <laughs> we are Scottish up here. <laughs> <laughs> they will not how about them? <laughs> you were digging for those O's, man. <laughs> I, I can't believe we're going way too late here. When we were in Korea, these dudes wearing Canadian gear came up to me and they're like, hey, where's Canada House? Which is like, you know, Czech house, but for Canada. And I was like, oh, sorry, I don't know. But I think like we saw it down there, but I can't really give you directions. And they started laughing and they went, he's a real Canadian. He said, sorry. And I was like, Are we, is this sorry. what we're going to do here? Like, we're going to we're gonna have to get in fights with each other? I just don't understand why you couldn't have just been like, hey, thanks. Instead, everyone was like, yeah, he said sorry. <laughs> Canadians in Korea were being dicks, man. I don't accept that. Anyway, I got to I gotta hang up and leave. All right. All right. What eat, is eat, Dragon Maid eat, about? Eats, shoots, and leaves. See, see. Let's see. Yeah, all, right. See, see, see. Good. all right. Anyway, thanks for being here. Sorry for the technical difficulties. And I'll see. Uh, I'll see. <laughs> also, sorry for the fact that I was... Uh, I had to restart my computer, so we lost a lot on Streamlabs. But... Uh, Bean Moon, the True Lord Corgi, Scogia, Toadastic, Pugglesworth the Third, and Beanbag Eighty One, Quintessentially, Ramath Party, Roll the Dice, GG Cockty, <laughs> SF Nikean, Wildcat Forty, Erdubia, Kiwi Rar, Mister Snrub, SMW Twenty Three, A New World, Milk and Ham, Aaron Zoas, Claybo, Kexver Kalfer, Yagarello, Wiggles Esquire, Rare Sense Ten Twelve, BJ Schnog, Wolf Guy Eighty Four, Blargion, Trostani for Life, Frey Jail. Aura 48, Weighty, Barbanium, Auxiliary Function, CJ Sky, Jerkin and Lurkin, XX Fay West, Ting Fen Wan, Dr. Tasselhoff, Mad Snorkel, Oren Saltzman, Ritlock, Solon the Great, Frenzer, California Toucan, On Such a Dreary Day, Sensual Lizard, Foam Flame, Boydka, Goose Gretzky, Flapper Paper, Flapper Papper, Barrows Boy, Leo Boy 993, Risk, Truffle Monster, Fio Chan, Stoneless B57, Cruise Fest, Havoc6789, Mizor, Ace Luke, Secretly a Zombie, Pro of Chaos, Ice Beast555, Blezzerith, Johnny Whoops, Too Many Toasters, Huntan, Berturndle, 56 months, Kronos Plays, Baron V Square, and J Deccan99, Dutch Gudakas, 69 Emerson, 69, Special Cornflake, Golmore, I Rate MTG Solver, X the Beast 191, ADR Lon, JS Bach, AC Phantom, Ozmaster 10, Tasty Berries, Inverse Zero Bunny, Dread Durst, Alandria, Renju, Talon Savo, Pumpkin Minion, Flukes 11, One Mean Butterbean, Chicken Strippin', Masamich, Famzone, The Great Jug, Bizuka, Devastating Wake, Red World 74, RT The Man, 121, Ducker Quaker, The Squad Father, X Digital X, FFS, Relane, Skullsy Slice, Forgebot Vendor, Goongong Goon, Trouble Is Shown, Ivanilov, Mr. Tensei, Zapgun7, Neat Otaku, Silcaster, Parkisum, Flying Monkey 911, and Good Egor. Thank you guys very much for the subscriptions. Thanks for watching. Thanks for making an effort to watch without an ad block. Hey, while I was gone, your Twitch Prime subscriptions might have lapsed. Look in the top right of the video player. You can click subscribe, resubscribe free, or subscribe free if you're interested in using your Twitch Prime subscription on me. For now, though, thank you to everyone who inevitably got lost when the uh, when I had to reboot my computer. I apologize. Here's a blanket. T-Y, T-Y, T-Y. Let me see if Kate's streaming after this. Hello, Kate is gonna stream Dungreed, the new Rogue Legacy-esque I was gonna say DLC. That's not what it is. The new Rogue Legacy esque uh, roguelite. <laughs> it doesn't really roll off the tongue that well. Oh, sorry, Ivan Nonlov, not Ivanilov. 
Anyway, she's playing some Dungreed. You might have seen Cobalt playing it, or you might have seen Kate playing it. Anyway, twitch.tv slash lovelymomo. I'm going to go to class. See you then. See you tomorrow. We'll stream tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Go watch Kate.